Alright, hello everyone. We're back working with Unreal Engine 5 VR, and today we're going to set up some smooth locomotion. The default teleportation method of movement isn't very immersive, and there aren't a lot of tutorials on setting up smooth movement for the Unreal 5 VR template. So I'm here with a super basic setup geared towards beginners looking for an easy way to view VR levels. Today we're going to be adding in a directional movement based on where the camera is looking, and a smooth rotation. This will all be based off of the joysticks. I'm going to be doing my best to make this somewhat approachable, so let's get into it. Are you trying to make professional 3D animations super easily? This video has been sponsored by Cascadeur. This is a standalone software for keyframe animation of your 3D characters. And thanks to its AI-assisted tools, you can make key poses and apply physics to your animations incredibly quickly. This is my go-to software for rigging, posing, and animating any 3D character. Using my link in the description and code 1WQHB8, you can get 15% off of your order of Cascadeur. This is the best way to support the channel and enjoy a full range of animation tools for your next game or cinematic. And now, back to the video. So, smooth locomotion. You're going to go into your VR template. You're going to go into inputs. Go into actions. And we have to make two new actions. So to add a new input action, you go right click, input, input action. This is going to be IA underscore smooth move. So opening up smooth move. We're going to call this locomotion. That's just for us. You can call that whatever you want. And you're going to change the value type to axis 2D, vector 2D for that one. You add a modifier. You go up here, you go add, over here, you type in dead zone. Checking out that dead zone. It's 0.2 to 1, the default works pretty well. Next up, you're going to make another one of these input actions. IA underscore, we're going to call this one smooth turn. Smooth turn. Now this one is going to be an axis 1D float, and in the same way we're going to add a dead zone with the same values there. Now we need to actually assign those things to some buttons. We're going to do that by going back into input and opening this IMC default. Okay? So under here you can see the current mappings, and we can actually just leave those be. But we're going to add a new one under here. We're going to search IA underscore smooth move. And we're going to put this on the left thumbstick. So we're going to find left thumbstick 2D axis. Just like that. So then we're going to just add in, do the same thing for IA underscore smooth turn. And we are going to put this guy on the right thumbstick. So valve index and thumbstick X axis for the smooth turn. So these are your mappings. So all we gotta do now is call them. So we're gonna go back into our VR template. Now we're gonna go into blueprints. We're gonna open the VR pawn. Go up to class settings and change the parent class to character. And in the viewport, go ahead and move down the camera. Take the VR origin and turn that down. So under the event graph, first thing we're going to do is uh, get rid of all the original teleport movement. We're going to do that by blowing up all the triggers. So just boom, 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 boom. And now we can move down to the bottom here. So first we're going to go IA underscore smooth move. And get this enhanced input action. All right. And we're going to go over here and do an add movement input. We're going to take the world direction pin and split it. Once we've got that, we're going to do a get forward vector camera. And so what this is going to do is make it so that we move in the direction that the camera is facing. We're going to take this, split this structure pin, and we'll just plug x into x and y into y. And then we just plug that trigger in there. All we need to do now is call the uh, smooth turn, but this is technically optional. Here's how to get it set up. I smooth turn, and over here we're going to add 
actor world rotation. And we're going to take this and we're going to split that as well. And we're going to put in a multiply node here. There might be a better way to do it. So if you do know a better way, let people know down in the comments that this is a super simple, smooth rotation thing. I set it to two. That's going to be how fast the rotation happens. And then up here, that is how fast you're going to be moving. So I set this to about 15. With the left stick, perfect. We can move around, and that is in the direction of the camera. And if we use the right stick, it doesn't do anything because... Okay, okay, I think the step I forgot is I have to uncheck use controller rotation, y'all. Please? So I can move on with this part? Okay. Fixed it. Turns out I had forgotten that step. So be sure to check that yaw uh, rotation. Be sure to uncheck that. Here's the finished system now that it's working and I've remembered all the steps. So left stick you can move around based on the direction of the camera. The right stick you can rotate around left and right. Which makes for a rudimentary setup, but it gets the job done. So that's it. Um, I'll probably have to re-record this segment. So with that, we've got a locomotion system. For fun, I threw together a new level to walk around in. Since this setup is pretty basic, there's a few trade-offs. Holding backwards on the thumbsticks still makes you move forward since the movement is based on camera direction. The rotation is also pretty nauseating, but for getting started and visualizing scenes, it's going to get the job done. I'd love to hear from people down in the comments how they've done this, or if they have any ideas on how to improve it with their own experiments in VR. VR in Unreal Engine is still in its relative infancy, so the actual resources on it are few and far between. I'd love to see it become more accessible to people, so hopefully we can see more VR games on the whole. But that's all I've got for this week. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope this helped you guys out, or you caught some inspiration along the way. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.